One of the biggest mysteries in One Piece right now is who exactly is the man marked by flame? We know very little about this guy besides him being scarred by fire, obviously. He owns a jet black ship and he creates tsunamis whenever someone gets close to him. And he right now possesses the final road poneglyph that Luffy and the other emperors need in order to get to Laugh Tale. So he's either going to be a very important ally or even an enemy. And he's going to be a very pivotal character for the final part of the series. And then there's the highly anticipated Rox D. Zebek, who is considered one of the most powerful pirates in history and led the strongest crew in the world at his time. But did he really die during God's Valley or has he been lurking in the shadows waiting for the perfect time to strike? So today we're gonna talk about the potential return of Rox D. Zebek if he is still alive and also the identity of the man marked by flame because they could end up being the same person. So let's start with Rox. He supposedly died or vanished 38 years ago alongside the island God's Valley after being defeated by Roger and Garp. But did he really die on that day? I highly doubt that as every single person involved in this incident somehow survived. Maybe he left his crew high and dry and betrayed them during this incident as that's also been hinted at throughout the story with Big Mom telling Kaido do not trust Rox and we know there was a lot of infighting within the crew. It is possible that after being defeated by Roger and Garp, maybe Garling was the one who did the finishing blow, killing him once and for all. That could play into things in modern day with Shanks and Blackbeard who both might be connected to these two characters. But anyways, if he did survive, then maybe he was left with a scar, specifically the burn scar due to this incident and I personally believe he survived for a couple of years, influencing the modern day of pirates and this is where Blackbeard comes into play. Me alongside many others in the community believe these two are linked and they have some sort of relationship whether it's father and son or just someone that influenced and inspired him in the same manner that Shanks did to Luffy or Roger did to Shanks. There's always a benefactor to almost every character in the series that is the reason why they lead the path they're on now. And Blackbeard is no exception as he seems to be following in a similar path to his predecessor both being the evil D's of their generation, great ambitions to be king of the world, Blackbeard even named his main ship the Saber of Zebek, and his home territory is currently Hachinosu which once belonged to Zebek. But Garp is currently locked up on Hachinosu Island and he does have history with the island itself, the Rock's crew, and Zebek himself. So I think this is a deliberate move from Oda's part so we can learn more about Rock's Blackbeard and Hachinosu Island. But none of this explains how Rox is the man marked by flame. Ever since his name was first introduced, Oda has been deliberately not showing us what he looks like, his powers, or who exactly he is, even skipping over parts of the God's Valley incident so we don't know what he looks like and I think that's for a reason. Maybe it's for a big reveal so he can connect both of them at the same time and it's like, whoa! Rox is alive, this is what he looks like, and he's actually the man marked by Flame, the next enemy of the Straw Hats. That'd be a pretty crazy move because we're pretty late in the game and we still have Blackbeard, the other Emperors, as well as Emu and the Gorosei, so to throw in Zebek would be kinda wild. It was said that Zebek looked into taboo subjects and was erased by the government entirely and that usually means one thing the Void Sentry, so he must have learned or was doing research on the Void Sentry, the Will of D, and obviously that would include Honoglyph, something that is completely banned by the world government and could explain why he has the Road Poneglyph now because he knows the importance of it and doesn't want anyone to get near it or know the true location of Laughdale, basically gatekeeping it. Now there are a couple of cons to our little theory of ours. One, we know that the Road Poneglyph was on Fishman Island 20 plus years ago during Odin's flashback and honestly it looks like it didn't get moved until during the little time skip because Whitebeard made it his territory. So one, why would Zebek now make his move to take the Poneglyph in his possession? Two, why would Fishman Island even give it to him or entrust with him? Three, why would he just take the Road Poneglyph and not the other one, not like it matters because it's just an apology letter from Joy Boy? Four, Zebek is a very notorious and legendary pirate. 
I'm pretty sure the government would know he was on the move again if he really was the man marked by flame because this guy doesn't appear to really be hiding as he's just chilling out in the ocean in a jet black ship causing whirlpools. Although I love the idea of him being alive and returning to the story to reform the Rock's crew and cause mayhem once again and be an enemy towards the Straw Hats, the lurking legend, I don't think he's alive anymore, surviving God's Valley but dying later on and thus Blackbeard would inherit his will and legacy. I do think Oda is holding on to the reveal of rocks because it's going to have major lore implications but also he'll be connected to a very important character down the line. But the question still remains, who is the man marked by flame? But through chapter 1100, we might have gotten our biggest hint yet as to who the identity of the man marked by flame is and it might actually be a former warlord it was revealed that when kuma joined the warlords he was actually replacing an empty slot caused by ace at first i thought they were talking about ace declining the offer of becoming a warlord but that doesn't make sense you can't replace someone that never took the position and it kind of hints towards that ace actually defeated a former warlord and thus caused an empty slot and might have been why they offered him the position until he declined and thus that's how kuma ended up becoming one of the shichibukai and through his fire powers he burnt this man and thus he became the man marked by flame and so luffy's enemy is now someone from ace's past and this is actually very interesting because a former warlord must mean he's gotten much more powerful since his last encounter with ace and it actually puts the whole system into question has there always been seven from the inception of this group and they were replacing members as time goes on with members like Boa Hancock, Jinbei, Doflamingo, etc. Although we do not know his identity, powers, or anything about this guy at all, I do think he might be one of the more likelier people that could be the man marked by flame, but just in case, there are always other options. There was another member on Rox's crew when they showed up on God's Valley, he seems to wear a cowboy hat and he might have been the same guy that told Kaido that they're heading over to God's Valley and they need to hurry up because as far as I remember, Rox never had a hat on during his entire uh, silhouette or introduction and he was way ahead of the crew when they docked so this guy is someone entirely different and he potentially could be the man marked by flame potentially but as i said earlier we know the poneglyph was there 20 plus years ago and then whitebeard decided to make fishman island his territory so he was probably keeping a watchful eye on the poneglyph and yet possession of it but two years later after his death Big Mom made it her territory and Big Mom definitely would have took it as she knows the true purpose of this poneglyph. So I'm assuming this thing was moved in between the time skip after Whitebeard's death because they knew Fisherman Island was going to get overrun with pirates, a new age of piracy, things were about to get wild. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person took the poneglyph in order to safe keep it and guard it in order for the right person to find it. So that could potentially make this person an ally but who exactly would even know about the true purpose of the road poneglyph it could be a former member of the whitebeard pirates we don't know the whereabouts of all of them we only really know about marco and Izo, who's currently six feet underground it could be a former member of the roger pirates we know that these guys have been scattered throughout the world waiting for the right person crocus is currently at reverse mountain silver's really was at shibodi he's currently with bo hancock to protect her but other than that, we don't know where the other members are, Seagull or even Scopper Gabon, who I do believe will play a role in the story sometime in the future. He could be on Lodestar, maybe even Laugh Tale itself, or he could be the man marked by Flame and has been protecting this Poneglyph in order to meet with Luffy. It possibly still could be Jaguar de Sol, who we know survived the Ohara incident that was burnt to the ground, so he would have got marked by Flame there. And it's been 20 years, the man could have ate a devil fruit which is causing these whirlpools and has been hiding on this black ship the entire time. I personally think he's on Elbaf, but after doing research with Ohara and the giants, he might have learned the true purpose of the poneglyphs and learned more about the ancient history and thus he's been protecting this poneglyph for the past two years. People are going to say it's Dragon, but it's not him. The man has other things to worry about. He's currently on Kamabaka Kingdom getting his nails done, so I highly doubt it's him. 
most likely it could be a new character altogether that would be pretty interesting i would believe but regardless of who the identity of the man marked by flame is they're clearly going to play a pivotal role for the remainder of the series and once their identity is revealed it will be a race towards the last poneglyph in order to find laugh tale so we can finally have a new pirate king whoever this person is must be super strong because kid knew about him and if he knew about him then most likely big mom and kaido did as well but yet they never did anything to go near this person or try to fight them or get the poneglyph themselves so this guy must be extremely extremely powerful and we'll probably find out the identity within the next arc or two but that's about it let me know in the comments what you guys think who is the man marked by flame how powerful is he will we ever see zebek return in the story even though we've never even seen what he looks like in the first place but i would like to know regardless hope you guys have a good day and a good night catch you guys in the next one peace